Okay, so today we're gonna do some Portal 2. Previously, on Portal, we thought we defeated GLaDOS, but then we got pulled back into the building by one of those party escort robot thingies. Because I guess we assumed the party submission uh, position, at least in their opinion. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In Ouch. compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Yes, we better look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion <laughs> of your mandatory Very gymnastic. And mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. I like how they have a mini fridge and a microwave and stuff, even though you're completely unconscious. It makes a lot of sense. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. <laughs> Lovely a mountain and a log cabin and a lake. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. Oh yes. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance. Reflect briefly on this classical music. Beautiful. <laughs> now please return to your bed. No, let me out. Let me out. Darn it! I think the door handle's painted on. Well, I guess we gotta go back to sleep. The one thing I'm good at. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Oh nine, dear, nine, that can't be good. Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. Any so time? Assumed to have exercised his or her right Hello? to remain in extended nope. relaxation. For the Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Or concerns regarding this policy, or I'll just open the door. Yeah, guess we better Hello. open the door then. Ah, God, God. <laughs> Good, looking good actually. Are you mm, okay? I believe Are him. You... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay I love the body Stay shape in the bed. It's all I say. Prepare. It's all fine. Some good memory foam right, right there. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. I'm sure this will go very well. He does not seem to have cottoned onto the fact that we cannot speak. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Mm. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer. <laughs> it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Oh, well, if it's just minor, alarm, that's right? okay then. And although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? At all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> just jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. <laughs> you heard it here first. Jumping is close enough to saying apple. Uh oh. Ah. You're still holding on. To what? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold well, that on. doesn't seem wise, does it? And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? <laughs> why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. There were 10,000 of us here? Why? Probably not. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. I, I just gotta concentrate. This would make a fun, um... But whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here <laughs> and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Apparently I'm talking to myself. Right, Hello, myself. I hear that one. This would make a, a fun, um... Okay, listen. Roller coaster or something thing. at a theme asks, park. Portal the concept, I mean. Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. 
pretty much alive. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. We're going to dock. Ah yes, that's some excellent docking. Good news, that is not a docking station. <laughs> Manual override, aka slam your face into it. To what? There's nothing to hold on to. There we go. Now I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. <laughs> but um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got ah, to hi Tom. So, um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. He has such faith in me, doesn't he? How are you doing, right. Tom? Tom. Off you go. Go on, just march on through that. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potential My radio. significance beyond uh -oh. our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These oh, good. Okay. These messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Just like now. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. <laughs> I'm going to keep my radio. Oh, look, there's me, and I'm not holding my radio, even though I'm clearly holding my radio. I love how they've just taken the, the room from the first one and it's completely overgrown now. I love it. It really shows that time has passed. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, <laughs> don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Well, I'm glad that they're so slim. That is reassuring. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. No, no, through. they're gonna kill my radio. No, my radio. Ooh, the lifts have gotten more fancy and see-through. So, Tom, uh, you have not experienced them, but I now have added sound effects that you can play with. They should be um, down on the thing, and you can have a press of them. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temple. It's very reassuring. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. I feel so much better now. I'm so glad that he reassured me like that. Do you think we'll finally get cake? I hope we finally get cake. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> you don't think we'll finally get cake? Okay. It's nice to see what that you have faith in, in this game and GLaDOS. Yeah, and the last button. So I would very much like a theme park ride based on Portal. Your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation ball at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. <laughs> Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh good, I'm glad to have that reassurance. It's nice to know that my test results won't be, you know, pointless in the case of the apocalypse. Huh. If the Earth is currently governed by a totally different colours over there, the cloud or other governing body that mm. either refuses to or is incapable of listening <laughs> to us. I like the leopard print on that turret. It's very stylish. Feels like it's about to sing. Um. Ah. Oh, what's that? Song. Man, I feel like a woman. That's it. 
There should be a, a portal device on that post <laughs> over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh no! Oh! Thank goodness I have those springy boots. Hello, Pixel Hound! Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should have asked that first. <laughs> I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. Still and alive. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. <laughs> right, brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. Oh, look, someone worshipped the companion cube. I'm guessing they did not enjoy the deadly neurotoxin. The cake! Give me the cake! Always teasing me with that cake. <laughs> oh look, there I am, way up there. Oh, that's a pretty picture, but it's creepy that someone was watching me while I sleep. Oops, I got stuck on the thing. But uh, he is playing random sound effects and also pretending to be me. Oops! Jumped off the thing. Go me! Oh, uh, you play the sound. Oh, I'm sorry, I froze. Um, you play a sound, you go down to the little menu thing where the sound bytes are and you just click the one you want to play and sometimes it asks you to like confirm if you want to play that one and then you just click yes obviously unless you change your mind and don't want to play that one anymore and a sound war sounds very intriguing Ooh, old school computers look how big the monitors are it's like my first computer <laughs> i hope he's not down here man that would be terrifying some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest Yay! That all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the law <laughs> robots. To share. Oh, that's going to go well. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. That will be such solace to me, considering I'll probably be dead. Um, owie fingers. They're very owie today. Started last night. Not sure why. This next test is very dangerous. To help oh, good. remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. I feel much relief now. I do not feel at all worried about the danger. Oh dear. Now I'm worried about the danger again. Ah, I remember doing all these the first time. It's been such a long time. I would be uh, quite upset with myself if I did not remember how to do these, considering I just did this the other day. Oh, why do they call it smooth jazz? Um, I uh, don't you know, maybe it's less trumpety? Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard <laughs> any undeserved compliments. <laughs> yes, I will, I will disregard any undeserved compliments. Of course, you have my word. Woohoo, we're going outside the testing zone. Aww, kitty cat. Is is he proposing that there is a cat inside the companion cube? Because that's very alarming. Oops, I got stuck. Uh, people do not listen to jazz. Think all jazz is smooth jazz, and it's been polished. <laughs> How exactly does one polish sound waves? I'd like to know the science behind this polished sound. Please explain. With polish. 
Thank you. It's a very good, very scientific explanation. Meteorites or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> good to know that there could be some that is a deliberate part of the test. Ooh, a button. What does this button do? I like that boulder. <laughs> that is a nice boulder. <laughs> I hope there's no boulder. Ah, that gives me steps. Okay. It did say there would be space rocks, that's true. Well, it said there might be space rocks. Which I suppose could be a boulder. What do these do? Let's see. Ooh, ah! And you? What do you do? Ah! Darn it, I didn't get the button pressed quick enough. Hey, there we go. Right, um. <laughs> Jay can understand Portal but can't play card games, we are opposite. Yeah, um, I can do Uno and go fish. Does that help? Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> Good, I'm glad the AI will keep me not alone. <laughs> I'd rather ranch the slime. I don't want to cover them in ranch. I don't like ranch. Ranch is gross. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're very high up. Aha, uh -huh, I'm gonna need to shoot that from the top. What do we got up there? Um, that is where I came from. Okay, cool. Whee! I love doing that. It's so much fun. Oh, shoot. I forgot I cannot shoot with one of these in my hand. Put the cube down. There we go. Yay, we both went through. If you are I thought we weren't going to do for a second. This facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future. Yeah. The future starts with you. Ooh, okay, so we got a big drop down there. Thingy over there, a cube over there. The door is up there. And there's something over there. Interesting. Well, let's jump in the hole. Whee! I do so enjoy doing that. Okay, gotta get that one up there, Sarah. So. Ooh, there's something up there. Can I get up there? Yeah, no, no, I cannot. Whee! Ooh, I thought I had lost my cube. Now I have to get back up there. Okay, right. Ooh. I think that is better lined up. Whee! Just, I nearly fell off the edge then. Future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. <laughs> Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Rude. That is very rude. So how many slimes do you have on your slime ranch? I don't know why I look down at you like I have to look at to you while you're typing to make you hear me. Protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The enrichment oh, good. respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. I'm so glad there won't be any safety features. Yay, he's back. Oh, brilliant. You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, mm. do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage 
are the real heroes, <laughs> aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. So nice to know what he thinks of us. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. Um, his they accent is not never, uh, never, anything never, like from where I come from, myself, from my but mother, it is nice to hear his I voice again. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? Yes. One. Two. Okay. Three. That's high. It's, it's high, <laughs> isn't it really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. So let's, uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Sorry. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Yay, <laughs> he's not dead. Get into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be what impressed by this. What stick on the wall? Ah. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Oh, me too. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? <laughs> I can't. I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> All right, you can turn around now. <laughs> Bam! Secret panel. Ooh, I love me a secret panel. Pick me up. Let's get out of hand off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just... <laughs> where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. <laughs> I love turrets, they're so adorable. Yeah, he makes me want to, hearing his voice makes me want to um, watch Hot Fuzz again. And um, there's so many people in that have that accent. Her chamber. Oh yeah. Uh, she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Because <laughs> he has a West Country accent, which I do not have. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Obviously. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Whoa. There she we is. made a mess of her last what time, didn't we? What a piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? Me? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Um, it was a sort of long chunk of time where um, about that. absolutely nothing happened. And then there's <laughs> us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't Tom, worry. that's mean. I'm not a monster. Ooh, Ratman left us clues. Down these stairs. Oh, well, GLaDOS oh, also promised... Actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. GLaDOS also promised us cake, and then we did not get cake. So, you know, you can't really trust anything GLaDOS says. As uh, Crowdly and I discovered last time. Fighting fire with fire doesn't seem like a good idea. It's like a good way to, you know, burn your house down. Don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to to find this. Really want to touch all the buttons. Look at something else. Look at the next thing. Don't touch anything else. Nice. You understand? Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, table. Plug me in, and I'll turn the lights on. Ooh. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. I don't think this is gonna go well. Okay. Okay, no, oh no, it's pressing all the buttons. No. That made it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Uh oh. Don't panic. Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Um uh, Oh no. Oh no. She is reforming. A, 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 um, 
That is not how you hack, Wheatley. Asleep, mostly. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You, you got better. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh no, I dropped my portal gun. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. <laughs> but I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. Tom, she called me a monster so, again. Since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. Oh, this led to I fire last too. time. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Oh dear. Guess we're back to being tested. This girl is on fire. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, oh, don't hit the things. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> so you've decided to start your sound war. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. Yay! Oh! I rescued the turret! This is my friend now. Oh no! It blew up! Now I'm sad. Oh, oh, oh! What the heck? You have a dual portal device. <laughs> there should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol. To I guess it was faulty. To a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. <laughs> this will be our only chance to talk. Hey. There we go. Here. Okay, how long till she calls me fat? Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again Ooh, forever. That sucks. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, Yay. we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's That's nothing probably not to stop good. us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Well, I'm sure this is going to go swell. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. Hey, yeah, that happens. <laughs> That's back online. Everything else working while you perform this first super test, which involves deadly lasers. Oh, that's going to go well. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, there's the deadly laser. And I need to be standing on it. That Titanic makes me laugh every time. Oh, thank you for celebrating my death already, even though I haven't died yet. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Not if I escape. I like how these this logo changes as the game progresses. <laughs> 
I hope I have street smarts. I am not basically as good as dead. Rude. Redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. <laughs> so now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Hey, there's Wheatley. What's that do? Oh, that gives me a new cube. I need that. Okay, where is the thing? Ah, there it is. Uh, I'm always afraid I'm going to hit myself on the lasers. Ah, uh, no, I need a new cube. Oh. Um, there we go. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. <laughs> That's what it says. A horrible person. Mm hmm. Sure, it does. Even testing for that. She is insulting me. Are you guys gonna just let her? You <laughs> love her. <laughs> Don't let That's that fair. She is awesome. Thing discourage you. It's just a data point. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. Simon well, thanks guys. To you on a doorstep. Lovely. <laughs> okay, we've already established you two are the same person, so is it any wonder that you both love GLaDOS? myself with the laser. That is not how you're supposed to do laser eye surgery. Right, where is the other one? Ah, there it is. Congratulations. Yeah. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack all She called me fat. Things. Okay, who had 37 minutes? Whoever bet that she would call me fat 37 minutes in, you win. One moment. Oh yeah, that looks a little tricky to get through otherwise. Navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. You're welcome. So feel free to slow down and do whatever <laughs> it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Mm, killing you? <laughs> nice, Tom, real nice. <laughs> I know you do. You both do because you're the same person. <laughs> yes, because I'm not allowed to compliment my husband, apparently. It's weird that I compliment, or it's weird that to be complimented. Orange. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. Oh, um, you don't have to go that slowly. Where did the tube out? Bloody lasers. Where did the cube? Oh, it dropped right there. I'm blind. Okay. Oh no, my thingy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot you told me about that. Your dentist decided to comp decided that you were on a diet because she complimented you on your weight loss. That was so weird. Yes, clearly you have stopped eating sugar because I say so. That's me paraphrasing your dentist. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. <laughs> Did you try telling her that you weigh the exact same? My dentist always compliments me on my teeth, which is nice. It's like the only thing of my body that ever gets like, good job, your teeth are healthy, the rest of you is not. But your teeth, your teeth they are. Keep those. Good job. No, oh, the cubes. I wanted the cubes. Oh, turret bodies. The uh, I can't pick them up. <gasps> Yay! To investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Whee. Good luck. These remind me of the bouncy. Ah, oh, it's because you got buff. 
Nice. Can you crush that watermelon yet? Oh dear. Oh, I timed that very badly. Um these these um these bouncy things they remind me of um Yeah I got it. Um they remind me of the, the bouncy plates in Tibet in Tomb Raider 2. You're not breathing real It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little and pump it back in. Hmm. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. That's terrifying. I that was interesting. Um, what if it's a very small watermelon? Like, a really small watermelon. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Sorry? Okay, well, let's see where these go then. I'm gonna put that up there just for safekeeping. Um, okay, what if it has a really thin rind? Like, it's mostly just fruit. Oh god, oh god. Damn it, I missed. Okay. Kind of like an egg, but you know, a watermelon. Okay, right, so we got a surfacey thing down there. And ah, a button and a button. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Lovely. I'm sure this will go well. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Is that a, is that a laser disc? Ah. Okay, we got the cube. Oh, yes. Do it do an ostrich egg instead. Oh god, I fell. Well, I'm dead now. I died, I'm sorry. Because you have to fight the ostrich first? I get that. about smelly garbage standing around being useless that was a metaphor i got i was that. actually talking about you and i'm sorry you didn't react at the time so i was worried it sailed right over your head which would have made this apology seem insane that's why i had to call you garbage a second time just <laughs> now nice use of the scream by the way what do you think tom could you crack a watermelon with your thighs did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went. <laughs> anyway, of course you just don't. an interesting science fact. Oh, you've just decided that he can't. <gasps> Companion cube! Did no! No! You could complete the test. I'm sorry. My cube! Go ahead and grab another one. Yay, my companion cube! <laughs> no, my cubes! She keeps destroying my cubes! We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Um, I think you should try, and I think the key is to wear a poncho. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. There we go. Why do you think he can't, for sure's?
My companion cube. Whee! Mm. Uh, uh. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Whee! Can I get the cube? No. No, I want the cube. No. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation Ooh, grill. I can get the cube. Exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I'm taking it with me. Uh, I know he can't. He needs to be able to create 300 plus pounds of PSI with his thighs. What do you think, Tom? No, my cube! I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. She killed my cube. Again. How are they sentient? Um, someone, um... Remember? I told you about them in the Someone did the maths and um, they worked out that a person could be fitted into the companion cube like just they can just fit in there. Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. I'm sure this will go well. There. That's what I thought you were going to say. Just remember what I said in slow motion. Mm. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Oh, okay, that just destroys those entirely. Right. Um What was it saying? Oh yeah, um someone did the maths and they worked out that a person can fit in just fit inside a companion cube if they're folded correctly. Um, so they could have a person inside them, and that's why you hear them talking sometimes. It's not just because you've gone crazy. Um, they feel. Oh, have fun driving your dad to Walmart. That sounds fun. They do, they don't actually talk, but some of the the text that said suggests that they may talk to you and that you should ignore if they talk to you because it's just a figment of your imagination. But the person who did the maths proposes that it was in fact a person in there asking you not to incinerate them. You know, normal things. Oh, well, that can't be good. Oh my, indeed. Let's see, what do we got here? Well, that's probably important. Hey, it's me. I'm okay. <laughs> well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke Why would they put people in them? Have you not seen how crazy GLaDOS is? What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your Generousness. I'll add a few Rude. zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. You know she oh, killed, like, all the staff, right? She released a deadly neurotoxin. That's why there's no staff anymore. She likes to kill people. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Yeah, that's why she's in charge of the facility, because she killed everyone else. With the deadly neurotoxin. Ooh, okay. We have a wall. Platey things. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh. okay. We uh, I go that way first to get a button. Buttons are useful. Wait, which one 
Oh, I think it was orange. Whee! Yay, it worked. Okay. Um, blue. <sighs> what was I talking about last time? I feel like I was talking about something a lot last time. Like that should be right. Mm. Okay, what did that do? Oh, that opened the thing. Oh, but I need to get up there first. Right. Shh. Theme parks! Thank you. Yes, that's what I was talking about last time. Okay, so I was going around. Universal Studios, wasn't it? And I remembered which ones I missed. I accidentally sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. <laughs> nice. Um, I um, I missed um the earthquake one, um, which they revamped a while back to include uh, Christopher Walken, and I think the rock as well uh, but now they've completely gotten rid of it and I think they're replacing it with something fast and furious themed I'm not really sure but it used to be this really fun ride that I really enjoyed and Enjoy this next test I'm going to go to the surface it's a beautiful day out yesterday I saw it. Uh, there was a little bit of Christopher Maybe walking this next test. Maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room and I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again <laughs> that that was perfectly timed to both -dum -bum -ch her joke and your joke and I'm very proud of you um oh yes so uh, after they revamped it a little he was like a uh, where do I ping on this oh up here okay um he was like a movie producer type guy because it was super movie making themed um, I love how you can just drop from any height in this game and there's no such thing as full damage. I, I like that a lot. Um, okay, that's weird. Um, what's down there? A big fall. Okay. Let's see what happens when I do this. Good things there. Okay. Um, right. So you uh, go into this pre-show bit and they tell you all about uh, various film facts and stuff and one of them that I particularly like is uh, they tell you how the, the rain and singing in the rain was actually milk because um, otherwise they, they, they couldn't get the water to show up on screen. So if you, if you look at the, the, the ground when he's doing the singing in the rain song it, it it looks very white um and that one's always amused me a lot and various other things like that uh, and then you go into the second pre-showy bit Whee! ow oh okay so i presumably need some kind of laser aha uh -huh, i see Oh, no, I don't need you down there. I need you up here. Down here. Even. Um, and this time, instead of um, just telling you stuff, you get to participate. Uh, so they take some people from the crowd and you film stuff like uh, in front of a blue screen and stuff and they put together like a little movie thing, which is fun. And you guys get to be in it and stuff. And then you move on to the uh, the third bit, the actual ride part of the show. Yeah. Um, where you get onto this big tram thingy and it's like you are in this underground uh, like subway type thingy. Um, there we go. 
Um, we. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to go all the way down to the beginning, aren't I? And hold onto my. Oh, my stomach went then. Um. So get into this tram thing, and. We. And you go along, and you pretend you you're extras in a film. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans, but with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Lovely. Um. So then you uh you go on the subway thing and you you have to pretend to be extras in a movie and you're going along and suddenly an earthquake hits and so the ride starts shaking and then um things start blowing up and there's like fire and stuff and then a big tram falls down on you like uh what are those things called the the big things that transport petrol These bridges are made from natural light that i pump in from the surface that makes if you sense. Your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. That's probably some good advice. Um. Oh, okay. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Is there anywhere that I can get this in? Hmm. Ooh, what is that over there? Oh, I did that totally wrong. I need to be over there first. Um, and so, yeah, you're in this big earthquake disaster type thing and it's real fun. And ooh, can I get back here? Ooh, I can! Oh, uh, this thing like seeing only not with my eyes. Well, that's very disturbing. I'm so glad that I experienced that. And then the ride all resets and you go back to the beginning. And then you get to watch it all back and that's when they splice in the rock. Okay, I'm very confused. Because I don't see... Oh, there is a path there that I did not notice from the shadow. Okay, where is the place to line that up? There we go. Okay, that one is blue, so the only one I can move is orange. Don't let me forget that. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha! Oh wait, no, I don't want to move that one there. I want to move it up there. But it's not in the right place. There we go. That is not on there, probably. There we go. Okay, and now we can leave. Yay! Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Ooh, that was a fat turret. I want it. I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. No, not sharks. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Well, that's so mean. It's a shame Pixelhound isn't here. She could tell us all about her pet shark. <laughs> that definitely wasn't just a misunderstanding of words. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. <laughs> when you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. Lovely. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Ah yes, Perfect. because everyone knows your bone structure is something you can I choose. somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Now I have a strong desire to touch everything. Hello. Bird eggs up here. Just 
dropped me to the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I, ah! <laughs> bird, bird, bird. Well, you killed its babies. Okay, that's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're going to break out of here. All right, very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. Okay. Don't let her know. The door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Well, that's about right. Oh, that is in a really awkward position. Hmm. Let's see if I can get on it from over here. Woo! Okay, that'll do. And I think that's underwritten off. I was wrong. Yeah, no, that is not quite in the right position. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what they've replaced that ride with now. I think it was something um, Fast and Furious related. Because I think I remember my mum saying something about they were replacing the rock with the rock. Which, to be honest, I didn't know she knew anything about. Um, darn it, that was too low and now I can't reach the cube. Um, I didn't know she knew anything about the Fast and the Furious franchise. Ooh, trippy. Ooh, that was unpleasant. I nearly fell off the edge then. Let's try. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, that was a close one. And then the other ride that I remembered that I did not go over. You did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. <laughs> and there's the backhandedness. Is the Transformers ride, which is in the same vein as the Spider-Man ride and the next test first Harry stories. Potter ride. You remember them, right? I remember turrets, yes. Things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Oh no. Good luck. Um. Put me down. Interesting, they don't shoot each other. Searching. Um. Oh, I don't want to get hit by spray, stray bullets. Oh, I know I got hit by stray bullets. Ah, <laughs> saw myself. Whee! I love doing that. Um, so the other one is the Transformers ride, yes, and it's on the same vein as the Spider-Man ride and the Harry Potter ride, the first Harry Potter ride. Um, ooh, in that you um, are in a specific uh, vehicle type ride and you go around on a track and then it's got lots of 4D elements. And we only rode it the once because it was um, new to me when, uh, when we were on our honeymoon. Yay, I got him. Um, I don't remember it very well. Oh, did we ride it twice, Tom? Can you remember if we rode it once or twice? I think we might have ridden it twice because you enjoyed it a lot. Um. And I can't remember that much about it, to be honest. Um, it was fun in that that type of ride is very fun to me. But, you know, 
I'm not really big on the Transformers. So that bit wasn't so uh, spectacular to me. Yay! I think we might have ridden it twice though because you really enjoyed it because you like the Transformers. Hey, I got them. Ooh, we have a gap. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make that. Aha, I can escape now. You can't even remember the ride. <laughs> That's fair, your memory is not great. I think it just like took us on, I can't remember it very well myself, it just took us on like a tour of, I don't know, what city Maybe is the Transformers set in? Cycle. I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> Guess you better sing happy birthday to me then. Um, what city is the Transformers movie set in? Because it's, it's very much definitely um, the movie Transformers and not like any of the cartoons or anything. <laughs> you don't know everywhere. <laughs> I'm so glad I have you here to help me remember things, Tom. Um... I don't know, you sort of go around there and there's a bunch of Transformers fighting Decepticons. And that's pretty much all I can remember of it. it it's... Whoa! Oh, okay, it was just going to automatically go up. Would have been nice if it told me that. Oh, okay, so I've got to hit three thingies with one thing. Okay, right, if I can get the right angle on these ones. Um... You know how hey. long live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. I'm not sure I want that. Technically, it's a medical experiment. Okay, I definitely don't want What's that. important is it's a present. I don't think that's a present. Just, you know, personally, I don't think ex being experimented on for my birthday is really not what I want. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. Mm -hmm. It's right here in your file. Sure, Jan. For other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you, it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. <laughs> in France. Oh yes, those medical fashion. Oh. Yeah, let me see if I can get that further back. Darn it! I can't get it to hit. Good night. Please put me down. I feel very mean. That's not going to stop me from doing it to the rest of them. Ooh, I got two for one then. Ah, I went the wrong side. Well, it's at an angle. I'll probably be fine. Oh, this is not going to end well. Okay, right, so we got you up there. I love how the cameras follow you. Oh, we got a targety thing over there. Ah, okay, that just basically shoot me back and forth. Got it. Good to know. Got a button there. Where's none of that? Oh, it's behind glass. Oh god, I didn't see those there. 
No. Oh, wow. They really lock you in place, don't they? Destroy the cameras. Okay, I will destroy the cameras. <gasps> oh, no. It put me back there. <laughs> Looking in the shadows. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. I can't believe I was talking about Transformers that whole time, and now, now you play Shia LaBeouf. Oh, I got them all. Nice. Okay. What do you do? Oh, okay, you lower the glass. Right. Hmm, okay. I can't see a thingy to get them very easily. So I guess we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. The old-fashioned way is I grab a turret and I hopefully drop it on them. Oh yes, uh, you wanted me to destroy the cameras. Um, I will destroy the cameras, but, you know, after I take out those targets so I, the turrets, so I don't, you know, get dead. Um, oh Tom, you should tell everyone about how you think that, um, the best uh, ride at Universal is the, um, what do you call it, ride, the... The one that plays the music at you, because you passed out for a second. Because I just think that's a hilarious reason for it to be your favourite ride. Well, that was easy. I'm going through the list of test subjects and you can't remember them. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. <laughs> it's a small world after all. How can you not remember any particular ride? That was the one, the big roller coaster that played a song you selected in your ears. Surprise waiting for you after this next test. And um telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. I think she's setting me up to fail here. You you remember getting off of it. <laughs> um Ah Nifty. Can I get in there? I want to get in there. I feel like I should be able to get in there, but I can't, and it makes me sad. Um. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I feel so mean. Um. Ah. Okay. Well. Start by getting you on the button. Um, try shooting one of the walls inside the vent. Um, I was gonna. Um, there aren't any um, thingy my bobby ones. Oh. I'm going to see if I can redirect the laser. Hello, Pixel Hound. Welcome back. Hmm. Can I get... Yes, I can. Right. Uh, orange. Orange. Okay. Oh, hey, I did it. 
and then I got stuck on the corner. Oh god, and then I got hit with a laser. That is not how you get laser eye surgery. Uh, we've established that... Ooh! Hee <laughs> Oh, they're practicing singing! Huh. That's so cute! <laughs> I wonder how long we do this for? Adorable. I love turrets. <laughs> this thing that will shoot you to death. I love it. It is a baby. Yes, it's so cute the way the little thingies move. Depending on like which note they're doing in which part. <laughs> They are better than people. <laughs> well, I'm sure GLaDOS would agree with you. Oh. Beans! <laughs> well, I think someone was having trouble here. have a singing turret. Oh, I have trouble pressing the crouch button and the move button at the same time. I like how, I love how they, um, they took the great basic concepts of, um, the first game and added in these really awesome new features. Like the the light bridges and the laser thingies, it's so clever. And the flowy, the fly, jumpy platform thingies. I don't think she really thinks we're a jolly good fellow. Exactly, that's what sequels should be. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Right. What kind of cake would you like to make? I am in the mood for a Victoria sponge cake myself, but with, um, what should I call it? Oh, what's that word? Raspberry. That's the word I've got. Raspberry jam instead of strawberry jam, because I do not like strawberries. Oops, that was the wrong one. Um... Is it going to be a cheesecake? We can try to make dairy-free cheesecake. No, it's been decided cheesecake. I guess we're making cheesecake then. Hey, I perfect. You think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years. I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. I hope it's a nice surprise. If it sucks, we can push it under the door to Tom. <laughs> Alright then. Cool, so we get cheesecake, and if it sucks, Tom gets terrible cheesecake. <laughs> Initiating surprise in three, two, one. 
I made it all up. Lottie. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they even want to see you. That's very mean. She's very mean to me. Oh! There was not glass there. Okay then. Okay, so we got a turret over there. Um, multiple beamy things that need to be lasered. I know she's homicidal, but that doesn't mean she can't be nice. Right, I need to get a cube. <laughs> what exactly is wrong with that sentence? I don't I don't see your I don't see what's wrong with my sentence. Why is why is it bad? Hmm. How to not get shot. Well, okay, running is not how. I died. Okay. Excellent. Okay, I know another example of someone who's homicidal, but also nice. Um, the Punisher in the Punisher Netflix show, he's pretty homicidal sometimes, but he's nice to other people. Hmm. Hmm, this one is making me confused. <laughs> oh wait, I'm so stupid. I have a portal gun. I don't need to use bridges. Am I so silly? Oh, okay then. Right. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm. Where is a good place to put this so that... Aha! Uh -huh. There you go. Hey! Nice! Excellent. Okay, right. Um, orange. I have two. I hope I need both. Now let's see if we can get rid of this turret because boy is it annoying me. There we go. I'm sorry turret. Hopefully I've got the angle correct here. I feel hey. awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. I don't think this is going to end well. For me. The first parents who are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. What did I do? What did I mess up? Where did I mess up? 
It's where that opened. Oh, it knocked that somehow. That is unexpected. Ooh, gravity. Oopsie. Okay, there we go. That worked this time. Whoops. I did it. All celebrate me. <gasps> oh yes, now's as good a time as any. Um, I won't be able to stream on Thursday. Oh, never mind. Five more chambers. Okay. Um. So yes, I won't be able to uh, stream on Thursday because I have to do uh, some doctor's test stuff. Well, um. You know so. Formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time, and you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Rude. Um. So Tom will be streaming because he is done with part of his military stuff. So he's back for a little bit, but we cannot be in contact because he's been away so he might have come into contact with the virus so he is quarantined in an undisclosed location um so he will be streaming on thursday by himself would you like to tell them what you'll be streaming my dear Oh, floor moved and kicked me. That's terribly rude. Oh, we got some bouncy things there. He's an Area 51 because they mistook him for a cryptid. I mean, possibly. I'm not not saying that. Well, I'm sure that did something. I mean, you seemed to enjoy Area 51 when we were there in Tomb Raider, love. Okay, somehow I need to get one of you orange. Damn it. Yes! Grabbed you. Ha ha ha. Whoa! Are you thingyable? Darn it, you aren't. Mm, uh -huh. Hmm. Okay, but now I cannot fire a thingy. Can I just drop this in here and... Oh, I can! Nifty, okay. Right, so orange. Did I mess up? What? How did it end up over here? Um, I should get headphones that go over my ears because my earbuds are hurting me because I wore them too much. He should be slumbering me for Halloween. And Tom will be streaming Subnautica. So as to keep from traumatising everyone. Don't you mean to traumatise yourself?
Yay! It worked. Okay, now I just need to shoot me up there. Wait, what colour? Blue. Okay. Depends how deep. <laughs> oh, it's hard not to make a joke there. Ooh, why is that all wonky? Ah, why are you wonky? Okay, there we go. Lovely, now let's grab you. Okay, and we need to get back up there. Um, I hope you react like jaded during the forest, but like in a funny way. Not in a way that makes me sad because you are suffering. <laughs> Ow, I burnt myself on the laser. Um, poor turrets. Okay, and now we just need to get over there. Right up there, okay. 50. What is that? Oh, it's a blown up piece of turret. Now I feel evil. So you're saying you don't want to see Tom suffer because of what he did to me with the forest? Because there are lots of people who do want to see him suffer because of that. And by lots of people, I mean a few people. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Hmm. I don't think I trust her solution. I'm not one of them, no. I do not like to see anyone suffer, let alone my husband. But I know Corey has been trying to plot his demise, and I think Proudly has too. Um. It's all shiny again. Now I want to tilt it upwards so I can get the thingamajig. Where am I supposed to be taking these? Ah, around here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, so I need it to go three ways. And I only have two cubes. Cool. Um, I'm surprised she doesn't want to see me suffering in a sad way. <laughs> We're the same, so I just suffer by proxy. <laughs> hmm. I think I need to have two things going into one hole and pointing in different directions. Or, sorry, three things going into one hole and pointing in different directions. What? I what what? What did I what? What did I work? I'm confused. Ah, that's not gonna work for that. But I can get that. No, that doesn't work then. Hmm. Let's try putting the hole in a different place. I don't know that you should put that many things into one hole. You are very naughty. There we go, I put all three things into one hole, and everything was fine. I think these test chambers look even better <laughs> than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, oh, see what you don't cube. need anymore, and trim out the fat. You guys are mean, and you know that I wasn't saying anything dirty, and you chose to make it dirty, and you are very naughty. Surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. <laughs> and real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. 
am I really surprised? Um. Yes and no. Aha, there is a button up there. Give me the box. Oh no! Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. This is very convincing. I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! Run! Oh, God. Okay. Do 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 I'm sure this will go very well. No, stop, stop, stop. The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Should I trust her? <laughs> should I trust her? Should I go into her test? Think I should do it? There's a deer. You no? We can't see it. Okay, I won't. I think I should though. Look how easy she's made it for me. I'm just messing with you. Oh. Oop. Keep moving, just keep moving. I think you actually get an achievement if you do oh, listen to her then. <laughs> um and just go into her test, and I also think you just die instantly. Come on, come on. I feel like we need some running music here. Uh oh. Can you, can you what do you think I'm trying to do? It does not help. Why does he think that helps? Where is a way out? Oh, is there a way out? Ah, got it. There we go. You're okay. Great, come on. I mean, just about. This way, this way. Hey! No, I died. It got me too many times. You're okay. Great, come on. Well, I mean this time. This way, this way. Courage. There we go. I didn't die that time. No, no, no. You can Benny Hill again. It's all good. Uh-oh. Oh, not that way then. I'm trying. Oh, God. Of what? This is a very slow lift. A whole minute? That's a long time. I'm going to set that lower when I work out how. Escape! Ah, oh, brilliant! You made it through. Well done. Yes, I did. We've still got work to do. At least you can't touch us back here. What's happening? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, don't move. In the dark, are you trying to scare me? Oh, for God's sake, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. 
Oh no! Oh, why would you do that? No, no, no! of the dark and I'm scared of sharks. I don't know, between the two of you I feel like you're trying to scare me to death. You surprise in the dark and then you jaws in the dark and you send me a picture of moths. And you're clearly, clearly trying to scare me to death. Which, you know, Jump across what are there? It's not like I have any like <laughs> I like your spelling of Shia LaBeouf there. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Oh yes, lighting it is very helpful. Whee! Yeah, it's not like I have any great riches for you guys to inherit or anything. If you scare me to death. Death. There we go. Ah, don't get lasered. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. <laughs> Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans that the... Um, Sorry, that's uh, no, I was gonna say smelly. Just, uh, just attending to the humans. Sorry about that. That just, that just slipped out. I'm a bit insensitive. <laughs> what does that say? Uh... Oh no, I said Shia LaBeouf. I said the surprise in the dark. That was you playing the surprise Shia LaBeouf song. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. Portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. Whee! We've got to get you out of that room! Yes, yes we do. Can you reach that wall back there? Yes, yes I can. Um... Okay, there's another wall over here! Where? Ah, there. Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great. And their your folklore. <laughs> wonderful. They're very colourful. He's very convincing that he actually does like humans. I'm very convinced. Are you convinced? Cool. This would be a fun slide, wouldn't it? Ooh, what do we have here then? Authorised personnel only. You were like, I'm scared of sharks in the dark, but not cannibals or celebrities, or cannibal celebrities apparently. I said the surprise, which was the Shire surprise song. I'm scared of cannibals. I think we established that when we played the forest. I'm very scared of cannibals, especially when they have too many legs or too many arms or try to eat me. Which, you know, is just all cannibals. Exactly, exactly. It was very well established. Oh, look, we've got flat screens now instead of the big um, 90s computers. Although, curiously 80s looking desks and computer there still. <laughs> yes, the two genders. Too many legs and too many arms. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. I think I should engage with turrets heading towards redemption. What about when they come out of a child's mouth? Um, redemption lines are not I do not like the sound of that. I would very much like to not see that, please. 
Um, I'm not sure I can actually make that jump. Oh, I could. Okay. Beep. No, I fell to my death. You know what? That was probably the worst one when that giant thing came out of that tiny girl's body. I really hated that. Um, I hated that a lot. I really wish I hadn't... <laughs> Thank you, I needed that after he was scaring me. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. <laughs> How do I get out of there? Oh god, I fell again. I'm very bad at jumping. Yeah, that was not a fun memory. That that sound effect, yes, me too. Um it, it amuses me endlessly. It just sounds so bad. And I love it. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret uh -huh. redemption line. This looks more promising. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I will have a fiddle with the settings so that you can um, play music more frequently. I didn't realize that it like set it so that long between them. Oh no, this one's flashy. Is it going to shoot me? Aww. <laughs> get mad. Don't make lemonade. No, get mad. Make life take the lemons back. Okay then, we're getting a history lesson. Oh, it's people don't spam. I like this turret. This turret is my- No! It knows! I will remember that. I'm going to leave you there. So you don't get obliterated by the emancipation grill. <laughs> That's nice that they're training them to kill people like that. Um, I haven't got any broken glass or anything. Ah! Aha! Found you. Nope, oh, that's a live one. cheery they still are even when they don't work. Now I have a broken one to be my friend instead. Control center. Thank you very much. Template. See that scanner out there? Response. It's deciding yes, I do. which turrets to keep and which to toss. And it's using that template. master turret there Response. as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Okay. Right. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to hack the door. Hack. So okay, he's okay. going to hack the door. Gracie's trying to block the stream. Rude. Turn around. I'll only be a second, if you wouldn't mind. Template. He wants me to turn around again. Just turn right the way around. So. You're not looking at me. <laughs> okay, go on, just pull that turret out. I don't think that counts as hacking. That's like when I yell parkour and all I do is stand up. Well, that should do it. Oh, brilliant, it's brilliant. That's brilliant. New template accepted. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm going to go and hack the door. He's going to hack okay, the door again. Like it's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It 
should take about 10 minutes. Keep one eye on the door. 10 minutes. That did not take 10 minutes. <laughs> was there any sort of announcement before I come? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but it's, in, it's just mentioned in the future. A cough or something. Alright, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator ah. as well. Ooh, that's, um, odd positioning there. Neurotoxin production this way to a dead end, and employee daycare centre this way. I would not want to mix those up. Ah, photocopiers. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. Whatever do you mean? And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. <laughs> Barely science, really, is it? Aww, seeing the kitties work so cute. <laughs> Potato battery, not a lemon. That's cute. Ooh, cleaner. variety. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Fun, though. Exactly primary research, even within the child <laughs> sciences. I'm guessing this wasn't one of the scientists' children. You know, I don't want to be snobby, but let's be honest, it's got it's got manual labourer written all over it, hasn't it? I'm not saying they're not rude. professionals, you know, they're just, they're just a lot dumber. <laughs> wow, he's so rude. Whoa! Oh. into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? Yum. You don't starve, though. This one looks a tad more advanced. I wonder what that device is supposed to be. The flux capacitor. At least we will have many potatoes. We could make chips. What do we do with potatoes, guys? I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. The correct response there was supposed to be boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew, but nobody said it quick enough. There we go. Came through at last. That's a good question. What is your favourite kind of potatoes? <sighs> Mine is a toss up between um, chips, oh, uh, what Americans call french fries, and uh, roast potatoes. Oh, you like mashed best. This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to, uh, yes, that is large. There's some sort of and mashed, because you're the same person. So, uh, let's go and investigate. <laughs> you should you should start dressing the same as well. I think it would be very funny. Why would you give them simulated pain? That's just cruel. So good at this. I'm so glad we have him here to look after us. That did it. There we go. Yay. Yes. In case of implosion, look directly at implosion. That does not seem wise. <laughs> Unlethal levels. Yes, that's very dangerous indeed. I love the humour in this game, it's great. Hold on! Come on! Come on! We have to go! 
You want me to jump in the hole? Oh, over here, that makes more sense. Oh god, okay. Ooh, confetti, yay! I'm sure this will end well. They should take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't have to fall to myself. <laughs> well, you believe everything you're told. I can't imagine what that feels like. This place is huge, and we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No I like that little hint no for what's to come. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part of the ah, Oh dear. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Yes, yes, you are. I'll find you. Looks like we're going to fight GLaDOS again just for the end of the stream like last time. <laughs> You know what? Um, Crowdly played that last time, expecting me it to be me singing, um, because that's what I labelled it as, because trolling. Um, but we got flagged for um, we got flagged for copyright on YouTube. Like it didn't like to spend our account or anything. It just meant the money, the video couldn't be monetized, but we can't monetize anyway. So it's a moot point, really. But I just thought it was interesting that that tiny little clip got flagged for copyright. GLaDOS emergency shut down and cake dispensary keep unlocked. I think this sounds very plausible and this is not a trap at all. Oh no! I truly didn't think you'd fall for that. <laughs> In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. Totally legit, indeed. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Can I have turkey? Oh no, it's my little toilet room again. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my glass is all breaking. Can I throw the toilet through the glass? Oh, you were busy back there. Yes, I was. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. Uh, you might be having a stroke then, Tom. Idea. It's your old friend, deadly neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, you heard her. Everyone hold your breath. Hello. Hello. Yay. I hate you so much. <laughs> Central core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. Well, you wouldn't, fact, would you? I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Okay. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out, pull Unless me out. a stalemate is <laughs> present to press the stalemate resolution button. Pull me out. Leave me in. Leave me in. Don't, don't press it. Don't do it. Yes, do it. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. Yep. Stalemate resolved. Oh no, I electrocuted her. Oh, I feel bad now. Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? You think he's going to be evil? Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You're it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly. How painful are we? Ah! <laughs> Quite painful then. Oh, I don't like that. I feel bad now. Wow. 
Yes, you are massive. Yes, yes, you are. Ah, this must be the end of the game. I know, I've played it before. I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. Uh, who did all the work? She did all the work. Mm hmm thank you, Gladys. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no. And no, Gladys. To you, too, lady. you know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, there the boss. Boss me around? I can't speak. Ah. Oh, glad potato. That? that is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now he is projecting big time, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. <laughs> Do you mind you of anyone? <laughs> no, you, no, you're lying, you're lying. You're the tour. You're not just a regular moron. You're designed <laughs> to be a moron. Designed to be a moron. Lovely. Yes. Can a moron do that? Yes. Uh -oh. oh no. No, I didn't grab the glad tato. Oh yay, we've gone back in time. It design wise, obviously, not really. Aperture Science Innovators. Yes, yes you are. I mean, that is something. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that... <laughs> I've been falling for 30 minutes! He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, my bad. Hey, just in case this pet isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? <laughs> just remember to land on one foot. I'm trying so desperately to grab her and it won't let me. Ouch. Right. Well, we better leave the stream there because that has been a little over two hours. So we will pick up with more Portal 2 possibly or Dark Fall the journal next Monday and this Thursday Tom will be taking over and streaming oh no the pigeon stole the glad tato so Tom will be streaming Subnautica this Thursday from his undisclosed location so I hope you will all enjoy that very much if you liked what you saw please feel free to give us a follow if we get to 50 followers we will be streaming Tomb Raider 1 with me blindfolded and Tom trying to tell me what to do so I'm sure that will go very very well but yes so I hope you like what you saw thank you very much for tuning in and bye